Well, this is the this is the first thing that is a sad truth about this matchup, and that's Potemkin cannot hit Eddie, and it sucks dick. What is, that is wrong? No, he can hit Eddie, but he cannot hit Eddie reliably. Your fastest button is five frames, and as you can see, that button doesn't hit Eddie. And most characters have a button that's almost is five frames or six, seven, that's a low. But Temkin's second fastest move is eight frames, and this will Eddie, but eight frames is slow as shit. Thus, you cannot hit Eddie usually. You can only hit Eddie when he's doing his uh, double spike punch and when he's using the frog. You cannot hit Eddie when he's doing drills. So when he's doing that stupid clap animation, you can't hit his hands, and it's the stupidest shit with 5P. You can flick drills, yes. You can flick drills and invite to hell. Invite to, invite to, to hell, O, oh, and drills you can flick. But yeah, so this is a big, big factor. You guys don't understand, but this is my fastest button, because I can't pop buster Eddie either. So the only way to get rid of Eddie is by an 11 frame move, or an eight frame move, and that's super slow. And as you can guess, if you've ever played against a Zotto, when Zotto's pressuring the shit out of you, your eight frame jab isn't gonna be able to, it will not be able to go in between the gaps. So that is one of the many reasons why this matchup sucks so bad. So when Zotto does this, right? The thing with Zotto is that he can cancel Eddie's movements with other moves, right? So there is a gap between those two punches where you can jab. It's a very tight gap, but you can do it. You can jab Eddie between those two points. That's what the Mishimo teaches you. However, a good Zada will never let you do that because between the two punches, you can cancel. So what every Zada that knows the matchup will do to you is that they'll do this. And then you can't hit Eddie. You literally can't jab him because it like i said when he's inside of the clap stance your jab doesn't hit so they'll summon at they'll fucking go to this to this so then you can't hit eddie anymore and you get stuffed so don't even fucking try it against a good zotto it's the stupidest shit on the planet no but that's only against this good zotto bad zottos will not cancel it against pot they'll just keep this out Eddie looks so good in this game. I know, I love, dude. Honestly, I I was tempted to play Zato because Eddie's so cute in this game. I love it. And don't get me started on how, dude. This there's two things in this game that I think are absolutely busted, but I love it. And that's the fact that Eddie can't you that that he can get rid of Eddie and just get him back instantly. And the other thing is Leo's fucking overhead cancel into 5K. Those two things in this game are busted, absolutely outrageously busted. But I don't want them to nerf it because they're too good. Like, if I played the character, I'd be so sad if they nerfed that. But yeah, if I played Eddie, I would be abusing the shit. Or if I played Zada, I'd be abusing the shit out of this. Look how fast you get it back. Oh, wait, my I block it with my webcam. Uh, yeah, you get Eddie back so fast. So you can just do, like, a whole string right here and just call him back. Oh, I didn't do it. Well, you call him back and you just get him back instantly. It's crazy. Oh, and this is the, this is my least favorite thing about this matchup. It, so the re, you get rid of this with Jab. But as you just saw, most of the time it doesn't fucking work. And I hate it so m I wasn't even trying to demonstrate me getting hit. But I try to jab it all the time and I get hit and it drives me fucking crazy. You can jab it. You can jab it, yes. But as you see, it's not a reliable fucking option and it sucks dick. And yes, you can 6P it. But again, there's not very mo there's not very many moments where Zottles will just randomly do frog from this distance. So yes, you can 6P it. But 6P has an 11 frame startup, and then you sit there for hours. So do you think that when a Zotto's pressuring you, you can just 6P it? No, you can't just 6P it. They won't let you. Now you could 6, can you actually, can you special cancel 6P? No, you can't special cancel 6P, so you can't even, like, special cancel it. It's the stupidest shit. I just block frog, that's what I'm saying, but that, you see, if you block frog, you're giving up pressure, right? But literally, like, please. Like, please. I press jab and I trade or I get hit, and it's very rare that I actually just get rid of the fucking frog. 
stupidest. Please fix the hitbox, Arxis, please. Uh, but I'm not trying to make this a little pity fit, but I'm just showing you guys why this matchup is so hard. Okay, so let me actually give you reason how to actually deal with the matchup. So I showed you why this matchup is shit. Some reasons this matchup is shit. Let me show you the good thing. So for one, you can flick, like I said, you can flick Invite to Hell and you can flick the drills. The one you'll mainly want to go for is Invite to Hell. The only bad thing about it is that when, when they do Invite to Hell, it's kind of a hard read and sometimes you just can't because of the block string. Oh, it does work. Yeah, so... As you can see, you can flick Invite to Hell. It, it's kind of a hard read, but just know, you can flick Invite to Hell. I need to turn that off. The, the distance you want to stay in this matchup is around right here. And why you want to stay here is because every good Zotto player is so obsessed with doing his fucking summon Eddie makes Eddie go behind you thing. Every single Zotto player is obsessed with that move. So at this distance, they'll go. You'll bait them to go for it, and you could just crouch and jab Eddie when he starts moving. So around this distance, around right out, right outside your 5H range is where you want to stay in this matchup. And why you want to stay there, and why this is working for me, is because at this range, he can't hit me. At this range, Zotto can't doesn't have a single move that reaches me. He either throws out a really stupid Eddie. Because, like, at this range is right where the frog and the and the fucking... What is it called? Pierce. This is right where the frog... What's the... It's called leap. I'm just going to call it frog. This is right where Pierce and frog, they'll want to use it. And at this distance, you can whiff punish the, the Pierce. And you can actually jab the frog. And then, same thing. If they want to do the stupid little Eddie goes behind you thing from this distance, because they all go for it. They're so... Zotto is so thirsty to do it. Right here, you can jab it out. So that's why you want to stay at this range. And the last reason why you want to stay at this range is because if Zotto tries, Zotto has to approach you if he wants to do anything, right? So Zotto will either run at you to like run up crouching slash, oops, or run up to do that, or, and if he runs forward, you can try to button check, or you just back up and whip punish it, right? So this isn't really advantageous for you. But because the Zotto player doesn't know why you're staying at this distance, it's beneficial for you. So all you Zotto players, turn off the stream, you're cheating. But um, this is why you want to stay at this range. Hopefully that makes sense. Any questions? Okay, we keep going. At this range too, if they stupidly do anything besides invite or what is it called? Uh, oppose. If they do anything besides oppose, like, if they really fuck up, you could still hit this, but I don't recommend ever going for that, to be honest. Because what do Zottos do when you play against them? What do, literally, when you, when, when you fight a Zotto, they do this all fucking game. This is the, they'll just spam this over and over. Oops. They'll literally just fly against Potemkin when Eddie's down, right? So usually they'll be around here, right? And their whole, they're like, oh, it's a mix up. I'm either gonna not go in or go in. Ooh, right? So at this range, there's really not much you can do about it. But you can do that. If if you really want to go, if they're really at that distance, no one ever expects you to go for a Kara Heat Knuckle. Kara Heat Knuckle is actually really fucking good. But no one goes no one uses it, including myself. Every time I find Eddie I, or a Zado, I always forget to use it. But at this range, you can go for Kara Heat Knuckle as well when they do that little flying thing. As you guys can see, I've thought a lot about this matchup. Um, so yeah, I need to remember to do that more when I play, but yeah, you can go for a car heat knuckle. Car heat knuckles are, no, it's not. Grow up. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, car heat knuckle is the same as doing car buster. If you can do car buster, you can car heat knuckle. All you do is a DP input, but then you just slide your finger between these two buttons. You know, I, I don't know. I find it kind of easy to do, but I guess I fuck it up sometimes, but yeah. I don't want no excuses, Twitch chat. Learn it or get out. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you think this matchup's going to be easy? You guys think the hardest matchup for Pot's going to... There's an easy way? No, but uh, just just in case, or anyone doesn't know, Zao's the only character that doesn't have a wake-up. He doesn't have a single reversal. So once you get a Zotto down, do not let him out. That is the only way you're winning this matchup. You never let Zotto out of your tiny little grasp because he's faster than you. He can fly. You, the second you get a knockdown, Zotto, you just guess right, five head. All right, don't don't guess every one. And you know what, Zotto's his favorite thing to do are back dash. And I know it's very hard to punish back dash, but we've gone over how to punish back dash, right? 
Yeah, you do that, and then you're back in, and you get stage control. So, like, right here, if they do a back dash, right? Oops, I didn't charge long enough. If they do a back dash, then look, you're already this distance. That's the only caveat to that, though, is that you get that, and then they can back dash again. They're at a, a spot where you can't really punish. Another thing about back dash, you can do close slash and crouching slash. The timing's kind of tight, but yeah. I think they're going to back dash. Oops. If you think they're going to back dash... You can go for that. It doesn't always work, but yeah. Last thing, if you think, if you know they're going to back dash. Again, this is only if you know they're going to back dash. Delay pot command grab. You, you'll see me do this. I'll just delay it. Delay car command grab. And you can catch them. They can't jump. They can't back dash again. They're fucked. And the last thing, if you have meter... You can do this. Oops. If you have meter, you can do this. Oops. I'm so bad. That is a real option you have when you have meter. So, those are some ways to punish backdash. And against Zotto and a lot of characters, a lot of players, they will backdash every time. So, again, that's more just a how to punish backdash thing more than Zotto. But every Zotto I fight spams backdash or they spam jump. At the start of your set, when, if you ever actually get a chance to hit them, take note of which one they do. Because I guarantee you that is their habit. The, they're going to keep doing that same option over and over again for the rest of the set. Almost every player at this time in this game is doing that. Even the best players you watch. Literally, go watch a match with any pro player, your favorite. Sonic Fox, who else is good? Kizzy K, anybody? You'll see, they have a habit of either backdashing on Wake Up or jumping on Wake Up. When you play someone in any fighting game, take a note of what their habit is on wake up. In the corner? Yeah, that's what I'm telling. Hey, uh, there's no cheat code there in the corner. It's just, hey, hopefully you'll get a hit eventually, babe. That is the best thing you can do against Zotto, is save meter for yellow RC. Yellow RC is so good in this game. So you can just go straight into Kara Pop Buster. And you have the advantage. They they can't they can't walk backwards. They're stuck there. The only thing they can do is jump, backdash, wake up DP, or yada yada. But Zato doesn't have wake up DP, so one of his options are cut. Right? He doesn't have a single reversal like we talked about. So if they jump instead, do not do heat knuckle. I repeat, do not do heat knuckle on the read. Heat knuckle, as you all know, can be blocked. And I'll try to show you why you don't want to do heat knuckle. Because if you go straight into Heat Knuckle, one, it can whiff, but that's not usually it. Heat Knuckle will hit as they jump, and it's not plus anymore. It's even on block. So, yeah, if Heat Knuckle hits there, you're not plus anymore on that hit. You're even on block, right? So... As you saw when I held up there, we both jumped at the same time. That pretty much means that it's even on block, minus, or plus one for you, right? So you're not at advantage. As Potemkin, you're not at advantage. Sure, you can do 5P, or you can go into uh, Pot Buster, but when you're out of range of Pot Buster, and two, fastest frame for Zotto is six frames. So if you car, he'll still jab you out of it. So what you want to do instead, if you think they're going to jump, you want to do a jump grab read. Oops. Damn it. Uh, so if you think they're going to jump, you want to do that. But as you see, it's not very reliable either. I didn't jump forward. Yeah. So you want to go for a jump grab read. And the other thing that's good about that is that you're not committing to anything. So if they just sit there on the ground and you jump, at least you can do a jump in or just jump block, right? Heat Knuckle is kind of a huge commitment, and they can whiff punish it. But also, the one thing about Heat Knuckle is that Heat Knuckle recovers really fast. So if you do decide to do Heat Knuckle, and they just sit there, you can probably jab or crouch and jab after it and maybe get, catch them out if their reactions aren't fast enough. But again, don't do Heat Knuckle, do Jump. And then the last thing is that they back dash, right? So yeah, just just do Heavy Slash. You, it's, it's, it's their best bet because they get out of your pressure, but at least you get something out of it. Um, why'd you choose to play Pot I think he's the coolest grappler in any fighting game. I love Potemkin. Um, he's definitely changed a lot in this game, but I still love him. He's still really fun. Arcs in the software just always makes Potemkin so fun. I don't know. I just, 
I really can't. I, I don't think there's a cooler grappler than Potemkin in a fighting game. The only one I'd argue with is Doomsday, but I'd also argue that Doomsday isn't a grappler. Okay. Why not 2S? Good question. I guess, yeah, you can do 2S if you want. Go for it. That's probably better. Yeah, yeah never mind. Hey, listen to uh, Dry Rad. 2S. Makes more sense. Again, I don't use Yellow RC very often, so 